Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue class 10 science. This is Iryur Talok level practice paper. So it is the key answers of part C biology. So in the previous videos, we have answered for part A physics and part B chemistry. Now let us move for part C biology. The first question of biology is organism which reproduce by budding amoeba, yeast, plasmodium, leishmania. Amoeba, binary fission, plasmodium, multiple fission, leishmania, binary fission, then which will undergo budding, that is yeast. For 27th question, the right option is option B, yeast. Now let us move for 28th question. So the 28th question is, the atmospheric layer which absorbs ultraviolet rays is made up of this molecule, nitrogen, hydrogen, O3, O2. So who will absorb the ultraviolet radiation? That is O3, ozone. So the right option for 28th is option C, that is O3. Now let us move for 29th question. So the 29th question is, what is the role of saliva in digestion of food? So saliva, kelsa yenu digestion of food dali enta noda dadra. It contains, that means saliva. It contains an enzyme called, an enzyme called salivary amylase salivary amylase and this enzyme helps in first one moisture the food moisture the food one mark sagi rodrinda it moistures the food danta no bari bodo or even you can write it kills harmful microorganisms or even you can write it converts it converts starch into glucose now let us move for question number 30 so the question number 30 is bacteria are called as decomposers of the ecosystem. Why? So bacteria na na wo decomposers anta kariti ve. Why the bacteria are called as decomposers? Because, because it converts complex, it converts complex substances into simple by biological process by biological process now let us move for 31st question who are the stakeholders of the forest product the stakeholders of the forest product are the local people one then the people that is the tribal people then forest department forest department then industrialist so th these are called as uh, they are called as uh, stakeholders of forest products now let us move for question number 32. In a pregnant woman, placenta grows in her body. Why? So this is very important question for examination. So let us answer question number 32. So in a pregnant woman, placenta grows in her body. Why? Because the first reason is it nourishes it nourishes the growing baby first point second one it removes 
waste then the third point is it helps in exchange of gases so these are the use uh, these are the function of placenta that are present in pregnant woman now let us move for question number 33 what are the problems caused by construction of large dams so by constructing large dams uh, dams the first one is that is social problem so it leads to social problem that is the people the people becomes homeless and rehabilitation this is the first point then this is the first one then the second problem is called economical problem the economical problem investing investing heavy amount investing heavy heavy amount to one project one project may be may be leads to under development of under development of other projects then the third main problem is called environmental problem so environmental problem so it leads to deforestation it leads to deforestation wild animals become it leads to deforestation wild animals becomes homeless etc now let us move for question number 34 the question number 34 is anil a 10 standard student has grown taller than his classmates what is this condition called which hormone is responsible for this condition so let us answer the 34th question in that one again one internal choice question is there let us solve both the questions so 34th a question answer maana that is a anil a 10th standard student has grown taller than his classmate what is this is called this is called as gigantism ಇದನ್ನ ಜೈಜಂಟಿಸಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವಿಚ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅದರೊಳಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಫ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ so the person is suffering from a disease called diabetes this is called diabetes then uh, which hormone deficiency is responsible for this one so due to deficiency of an insulin uh, hormone called insulin so this is the answer for uh, that is uh, 34th question now let us move for 35th so 35th question is a diagram question draw a neat diagram of vertical section of human brain and label the following parts cerebr cerebrum and spinal cord now 36 three questions are there let us answer all the three questions why do, why are testes located in scrotum outside the abdominal abdominal cavity anta ide so you can answer but in 36 35th is diagram question it is a diagram question now let us move for 36th 
So, uh, 36, 30, why are testes located? Because, because testes will produce, testes will produce sperms only, only when the temperature is less than our body normal temperature. So this is for the first question. Then in that one second question is there. That is uh, does copper tea. Uh, second question given. Eh? Does copper tea device used by women protect them from sexually transmitted diseases? Yes or no? Justify your answer on that. So, copper tea is sexually transmitted disease. Na tade get bouda on that. They can answer oh, no. It will not. It will not help in protecting. It will not help in protecting her from STDs as it only a contraceptive, only a contraceptive, it will prevent pregnancy. It will prevent pregnancy. So this is the answer for uh, that is a sec, uh, B question. In a C question, Gebarana, among flower A and B, which flower undergoes self pollination? Why? So elderly, the self pollination unta agate, yakenta keli dara. So now we'll observe madadra. So ye flower A idia na, ye flower A na le, idu. Uh, this is stigma, this is anther, and pollen grains. Pollen grains are next to ovary. So, male, male gamete is female gamete. It undergoes self pollination. This is the ovary. This is female flower. This is the male pollen grains. It undergoes, undergoes cross pollination. So, A, it undergoes self-pollination. Why? Because it contains both male and female gametes. Yerdu gametes na kuda adu vandhi da. So, that is the answer. Let us uh, answer the C question. So, let us answer C question. So, C question na leni da. That is uh, uh, flower A. Flower A undergoes self pollination undergoes self pollination so question why anta kelidare because it contains both male and female gametes eradu gametes na ondirodrinda it undergoes male, uh, it undergoes self pollination. So now let us move for 37th question. So 37th the internal choice question is So I don't know answer mine. Uh, first to A, why is it necessary to separate oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in mammals and birds? Ado A, B, write the differences between arteries and veins. This is internal choice question is how is food transported in plants? What are the methods used by the plants to get rid of excretory products? So, this is the question. So, 37th, why it is necessary to separate oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in mammals and birds? So, the answer is because separating Separating oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood will supply 
will supply efficient supply uh, will supply efficient efficient oxygen to our body idu ondo yernedo due to separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood it helps to maintain constant body temperature constant body it helps to maintain constant body temperature so this is the answer for uh, 7 uh, 37th a so in 37th b is what are the differences between arteries and veins let us differentiate between arteries and veins so let us differentiate between arteries and veins arteries it will carry it will carry oxygenated blood it will carry oxygenated blood from from heart to various from heart to various parts of our body then veins it will carry it will carry deoxygenated blood from various parts from various parts to heart then the second difference is it has that means arteries it has thick and elastic wall it has thick and elastic wall ikade it has thin and elastic wall then it does not have it does not have wall it has wall then the fourth difference is that pulmonary pulmonary artery will carry deoxygenated blood pulmonary vein pulmonary vein will carry oxygenated blood so these are the differences between arteries and veins so idrolagade namge internal choice question ide so adanna solve madana adu yadappa andre how is food transported in plants what are the methods used by plants to get rid of excretory products anta ide so idanna naviga answer madana so let us move for 37th internal choice question so internal choice question ge hogana so adrolagade modane question how is food transported in plants so how the food is transported in plants anta ide so adike first point barena phloem translocates soluble product of soluble product of photosynthesis photosynthesis amino acids and other substances and other substances from leaves from leaves to other parts this is the first point then second point so second point is translocation translocation takes place translocation takes place in sieve tubes with the help of 
with the help of companion cells with the help of companion cells both in upward and downward direction then the third point is osmotic pressure helps water to move into the phloem tissue into the phloem tissue and moves other materials from the phloem from phloem to other tissues from phloem to other tissues so idrolagade innu one question ide b adenappa andre what are the methods used by plants to get rid excretory ide through photosynthesis through photosynthesis through photosynthesis oxygen is removed first point second one through respiration through respiration carbon dioxide is removed then third point waste is removed waste is removed in the form of in the form of gums and resins then the fourth point is through through falling leaves waste is removed then through through roots into the soil so these are the uh, methods by which waste is removed now in this paper let us move for the last question that is a 38th question and this is the last question of biology part and uh, that is a plant bearing round green seeds capital r capital r cap, uh, small y small y round to green is crossed with a pea plant producing wrinkle yellow seeds small r small r capital y capital y red to dominant to ring uh, sorry round to dominant to wrinkled to recessive green to recessive yellow dominant represent the result of f2 generation with the help of checkerboard and write the ratio of the plants obtained so let us write the checkerboard for this one adikina munche first en en kottidare anta nodkonana so round green capital r capital r small y small y capital uh, sorry small r small r capital y capital y so ivaradunu navu first iga gametes na nodkonana en barutte anta capital r small y capital r small y then here small r capital y small r capital y so iga let us move for f1 generation f1 ge hogana so f1 generation alli iga ee gametes en bandido idu genotype iga gametes na thagolana gametes en en bandide capital r small y capital r small y small r capital y small r capital y capital r small r capital y small 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 y
so these are the uh, baby plants that we get in f1 generation e f1 generation alli all baby plants are all baby plants are having all baby plants are having same you know the illi cross pollination aitha having same genotype so ella baby plant gala genotype onde agide so idun thagondu naviga let us move for f2 generation so capital r small r capital y small y capital r small r capital y small y this is the genotype so iduna naviga we let us uh, Uh, take let us write the gametes for this one capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y these are the gametes so same gametes here also because same genotype capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y so idike naviga checkerboard na bariyana so now let us write the checkerboard for f2 generation so capital r capital r capital y capital y that is round yellow capital r capital r capital y small y again round yellow capital r small r capital y capital y so round yellow capital r small r capital y small y so round yellow capital r capital r capital y small y so it is round yellow capital r capital r small y small y so it is round green so now next capital r small r capital y small y round yellow capital r small r small y small y so round green small r capital r capital y capital y so round yellow small r capital r capital y small y round yellow small r small r capital y capital y so wrinkled yellow small r small r capital y small y so wrinkled yellow small r capital r okay, small y capital y so round yellow small r capital r capital a uh, small y small y so round green small r small r small y capital y so wrinkled yellow small r small r small y small y so it is wrinkled green so now let us write the uh, ratio so round yellow is to round green is to wrinkled yellow is to wrinkled green so now round yellow 9 is to round green 3 is to wrinkled yellow 3 wrinkled green 1 therefore the dihybrid ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so ee rite now checkerboard na use maadkonda so we have to find out the that is uh, ratio G phenotypic ratio for dihybrid cross so iga now uh, mendel idrolagade uh, innond uh, sub question ide Mendel selected pea plant for his experiment. Why? And that is the question. No? So, this is the answer. Man, na, nala point na bariye na because first ne do it has short lifespan. It has short lifespan. Then, er ne do it gives large number of seeds. 
then third point it undergoes it undergoes self pollination it undergoes self pollination as well as as well as cross pollination yerdo pollination kuda it undergoes then fourth one is it has seven contrasting characters it has seven contrasting characters and the last point why he has selected because it can be it and the pea plant it can be grown in pot as well as as well as in open field as well as in open field so these are the answer, uh, point that you have to write so by this we have successfully answered all the questions related to biology in the next next video we are going to answer for one more uh, practice paper till then thank you very much still those who are not subscribe my channel please subscribe it those who already subscribe please watch my videos like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video till then thank you very much once again thanks for everyone for your great support your great supporting my youtube channel once again thank you very much